Mtazamaji wa Swift Media kama vile ambavyo unafahamu story ya msanii wa Gospel Sami Boy imeendelea kuzua tumbo joto huku uh, documents zake za kesi zikitolewa. Kilichofanyika ni kwamba Sami Boy alifungwa kifungo cha maisha uh, na alikuwa accused na wizi wa kimababu au robbery with violence huku uh, kesi hiyo ikizidi kuwa ngumu kabisa na basi akafungwa kifungo cha maisha. Sasa baadaye uh, baada ya story yake kutolewa alidai kwamba ameshafanya ku appeal ili aone kama anaweza kapunguziwa miaka au labda alipe uh, fedha kiasi cha fedha fulani ili aweze kuachiliwa. And of course tumeona mawakili na watu wakijitokeza kwa ajili ya kumsaidia. Lakini uh, kuna documents za kesi hiyo ambazo zimeweza uh, kutolewa ambazo ambacho kilifanyika uh, na basi zinaeleza mengi zaidi. Na bila kupoteza muda naomba nikupeleke moja kwa moja mpaka kwa gazeti la Nation ambayo hiyo ndefu sana ambayo inahusiana na story hiyo ya Sami Boy. Arono huweza ulipata nafasi ya kusikiza hiyo story. Uh, kulingana na story ambayo Nation waliweza kuiandika, walielezea kwamba according to his file that is Sami Boy's file ambayo inapatikana katika koti ni kwamba Sami Boy uh, kama alivyokuwa ameelezea katika story yake alisema kwamba rafiki yake ndiye alimfanya aweze kujipata katika hii hali lakini according to the court documents inaelezea kwamba Sami Boy was directly involved kwa sababu ilikuwa kulikuwa na robbery with violence ambayo iliweza kufanyika pale Gilgil na Sami Boy alikuwa among the wale watu waliweza kupatikana pale na guns na kila kitu and that's why aliweza kuhukumiwa kifungo cha maisha na nation vile wameweza kuandika wameandika hivi uh, how police nailed gospel singer in robbery case uh, wameweza kuandika Uh, he became a household name in 2014 following the release of the hit song Noira 2. Uh, Sami Boy, who real name is Samuel Madenge Mwaneki, wowed audience with his mellow voice. The gospel song tells a tale of how one toils for long to make ends meet and then turns his life around. His rising star had at that time caught the eyes of popular artists in the industry who wanted to do collaboration with him. Sami Boy was on the verge of stardom but the table stand on him and he found himself in a battle to save not just his promising music career but also his life last year he was sentenced to death for taking part in an armed robbery he was appealed the he has appealed the sentence and maintains his innocence he argues that he's a victim of circumstances having found himself at the wrong place at the wrong time after trusting a wrong friend uh, to his largely religious fan base his an endearing character thus the news of the imprisonment took most aback mm -hmm. behind the bars but the but there is more about the musician than meets the eye in the eyes of the law Sami Boy is a dangerous criminal who has no place in society. Chief Magistrate Kennedy Bidali had no doubts when he convicted him of robbery with violence and sentenced him for hang. <clears throat> the popular musician ha had been off air for some time and last month he became a talking point after he made a television appearance from behind the bus since he has handed his ten sentence december 2021 uh, he has been at the naivasha maximum security prison despite being convicted of the offense sami boy insists he was wrongfully charged as he was only found in possession of items he claims he did not know was stolen but detectives investigating the robbery put a strong case that placed Sami Boy at the scene of crime uh, all i would say is know your friends i am i am in here because i agreed to hold items for a friend who said he was having trouble with his landlord i thought they belonged to him because it was not the first time he had made such a request 
that uh, Sambi Boy told in Oro TV. In his narrative, is anything to go by, he ought to have been charged only with the offense of being in possession of stolen goods. So, how then did the, did the detectives attached to the director of criminal investigation arrive to the conclusion that he was part of the armed robbery six years ago? Mm -hmm. uh, the nation pieced together threads of evidence and investigators are relied upon to win Sammy Boy's conviction and incarceration, uh, including details of double-faced man who turned out to be one of the central Kenya's most wanted gangsters. Sammy Boy entered the gospel mu mu music scene in 2011, then things went south four years later. Court documents seen by the nation uh, show that on the night of August 6, 2015, a gang of six held at gunpoint a family of British investor and uh, the Yakenian staff in an attack at their home in Gilgil, Nakuru County. Sami Boy was identified as one of the gangsters who took part in the six-hour siege at Malawa Bush Ventures camp in Gilgil. The camp's director, Christine Mary Campbell, and her husband, Christopher Edward Campbell, had returned from shopping around 8, 8 p.m. on the fateful night. They had planned to prepare and have supper with their mother and two close associates identified as Sharon Lindy and Pape Keith Bentley. Uh, three of the Yakenian employees, including a nurse who was caring uh, for their ailing mother, were also present. Mm, testimonies given by the victims show that six armed men broke into their home some minutes to 8 p.m. They were armed with a rifle, a pistol, and knives for the robbery, which detectives believed had been planned prior, complete with regular surveillance and the property to learn the movements of the occupants. Uh, they entered the compound exterior kitchen, first where they accosted Mr. Benz Mureria uh, Awaka, he was tied up and ordered to remain quiet. Uh, Miss Christine, who was helping with cooking, said that as soon as she entered the kitchen, she was also captured by the gangsters and tied up. They then proceeded to rob, to rob them of their phones and jewelries. Her husband, Christopher, was next to be captured. Two of the robbers were left to guard the three, while the rest of the gang proceeded to the main house. In a few minutes, uh, the gang had rounded up all eight occupants of the house in the living room. They even dragged out the couple's ailing mother from bed, but after pleading with them, they agreed to escort her back. In their testimonies, um, the victim also told the court that the robbers were not wearing masks at that time and kept on taunting, taunting them at some point, even identified themselves as Al-Shabaab. For the next four hours, the gang ransacked the house, taking away anything they deemed valuable. Uh, they stashed their loot into two vehicles belonging to the Campbells. Uh, the gang took cash, both in local and foreign currency, assorted electronics including phones, tablets, laptops, and other house appliances. A guitar was also reported stole, stolen from the home. Around midnight, the victim were bundled into the boots of the two vehicles, both Toyota Prados. Uh, they then entered both vehicles and started driving towards Lagalaga. Laga. Uh, we drove for, for about two and a half kilometers before stopping, Mr. Campbell said. The gang reportedly stayed at the spot for about two hours as they negotiated how they would spill the loot while taking turns to watch their hostages. At some point, the gangsters are said to have disagreed on how much money they had stolen. They had to check with the victim how much money they had before the robbery. Around 2 a.m., the gang is said to have entered one vehicle and drove off, but not before deflating two tires of the other vehicle and throwing away the ignition key. One of the workers then walked to the nearest police station to get, to get assistance. Mm -hmm. 
Detectives based at Gilgil Police Station initiated a manhunt for the gang that drove towards Nairobi using phone data and after questioning the suspect who had been arrested in connection with the haste, police managed to track down the stole, stolen items to Kino on the aus, outskirts of Nairobi five days later. On August 12, 2015, Sami Boy was arrested after being found with stolen items. They were stashed in a mi minivan which the nation has since learned had been hired three days before on August 9th by Sami Boy. Even though the musician claimed the items belonged to a friend, detectives managed to uncover that he had hired the van from one Sami Ngojiri who runs a rental car business in Kino. He even deposited copies of his uh, ID with the car hire service saying he needed to travel to Nyeri. Mr. Ngojiri had reportedly became suspicious when Sami Boy failed to return the vehicle on August 11, 2015. He soon learned, learned that it had been impounded in connection to a robbery case and taken to Gilgil Police Station. Sami Boy was eventually implicated and charged with the robbery with violence alongside Simon Mwangi Guyaya, Robert Muregi Muredi, uh, Keva Keredi Geshoke, Paul Doita, Washira, and Anthony Daiga. Uh, when Sami Boy was interrogated by the detectives, he stuck to his narrative that his item, uh, the items belonged to his friend. He took the same defense to court during trial, but after failing to prove his alibi, his defense was rejected. The said friend was never called to confirm. He never made any attempt through court to have the friend compelled to give his testimony. Uh, the burden was on him to show the items were not stolen. He failed to discharge that burden, Chief Magistrate Bidali said in his ruling. During his highly publicized interview last week, Sami Boy revealed the identity of his friend and supposed alibi as one Onesmas Karanja. He claimed the friend died in a road accident few years ago. Mm -hmm. Uh, in an interesting turn of events, however, the name of Alibi has raised red flags among detectives in Mary. Apparently, Onesmas Karanja is in fact one of the many allies of one of the musician's accomp accomplices, uh, Keredi Geshoke. Keredi was profiled by police as one of the central Kenyan uh, Kenya most wanted criminal between 2017 and 2019. He was gunned down by police in a shootout uh, during a botched robbery at Blue Valley area in Nyeri town on October 10, 2019. Kerevi, at the time of his killing, said to have been in the company of Paul Beta Washira. The two were at that time on trial for the Gilgil robbery but had skipped bond and absconded court appearances. Doita is still at large even though his alibi did not hold in the Gilgil robbery case. The four victims posit positively identified Sami Boy and placed him at the crime scene which convinced the court to send him to jail. Police conducted an identification parade where the victims managed to pick out their tormentors from a lineup of suspects. The prosecution used these as its strongest piece of evidence, securing conviction against five of the suspects. One of the suspects, Anthony Daiga, was acquitted for lack of sufficient evidence against him. Sami Boy, Robert Muregi, Muredi, Simon uh, were, were all handed death sentence on, Dece on December 2nd, 2021. The case against the accused has been proved to the required standards. I find them guilty as charged and are convicted accordingly, Chief Magistrate Bidali said in his ruling. Uh, uh, Keredi and Paul Doita were also convicted and sentenced in absentia. Sami Boy said he would appeal the death sentence. Oh, na basi uh, hiyo ni story fupi ambayo inahusiana na uh, Sami Boy pamoja na wale ambao basi uh, ilisemekana kwamba wamehusishwa wote kwa wizi and of course hii itakuwa ni hii itakuwa ni story ambayo inagusa sana sababu 
Sami Boy ni msanii ambaye ana heshima kubwa sana kwa upande wa mziki na kwa hiyo mambo haya wakati yanatokea inakuwa ina mgusa yeye sana kwa sababu ukiangalia kutokana na hiyo story uh, inaonekana alikuwa na mahusiano na watu ambao tayari wameshafanya wizi kuna jamaa ambaye nimesikia ametajwa hapo ambaye uh, tayari alisha wao na maafisa wa polisi kwa sababu walikuwa wanted uh-huh. Ata the contradicting thing ni kwamba uh, that the friend mwenye Sami Boy alisema alimwachia vitu na hakujua kwamba ni zawizi ya na akasema aliweza kufariki kutokana na road accident but kutokana na investigation umejulikana kwamba huyo mtu aliuliwa kwa sababu ya wizi but not road accident okay yeah kwa hiyo alikuwa mwizi si ajali yeah Wow, na basi inaonekana hakuwa peke yake lakini kuna wale ambao walitoroka. Ya, yeah. wamesema kuna wale ambao walitoroka, wengine kuna mwingine hakuweza kuhukumiwa kifungo cha maisha kwa sababu walikosa enough evidence but uh, uh, kwa Sami Boy waliweza kupata uh, makosa. Ya, yeah, alipatikana na yeah, he was guilty kwa sababu the van yeye alikuwa mehaya Uh, the victim waliweza kumidentify walipoulizwa waweze kutambua ni nani alikuwa amewavamia walimtambua kwa hivyo ikakuwa ni enough evidence ya kumwezesha judge kumkum wow na basi uh, wakati huo huo yeye akasema kwamba ata appeal uh, na basi amesha appeal unahisi kwamba uh, magistrate atamsamehe au itakuwaje kwa sababu tayari kutokana na court documents ambazo zimekuwa revealed story ni kubwa hii Are you never know but from all the gathered evidence it's very hard very hard kwa sababu kila kitu inaonyesha kwamba alikuwa directly involved in the robbery lakini you never know you never know unajua yeah, kwa sababu mpaka kutokana na story ya kuhaya gari and everything inakuwa basi ina amgusa um, kwa karibu zaidi lakini uh, wa Kenya ni wengi ambao of course wamejitokeza na kuzungumza kuhusiana na story of course nitakuwa na kusomea comments chache hapa kuna huyu ambaye anaitwa Martha Hinga ambaye alishare kupitia mtandao wake wa Facebook alishare kuhusiana na hiyo story eh? alright na basi um, baada yake kushia kupitia mtandao wake wa Facebook Naomba mimi mwenyewe sasa kusomee baadhi ya comments kutoka kwa mashabiki. Madhahinga alishia kwanza hapa juu ambapo alisema I know you guys don't love reading but take time to read this. It looks uh, like our dear bro uh, was already kakara. Kakara ni Uh, uh, madhahinga anatumia hiyo jina uh, kuarifa wale watu wameharibika but still they are in, they are in gospel. Alright, uh, na basi akashare hii story ambayo of course tumesha kusomea na comments hapa zikawa nyingi zaidi. Uh, nitakuwa nasoma zile ambazo ni za Kiswahili kwa sababu kikuyu sio rahisi. Mimi nasema I have no sympathy huwa anaitwa Pato. I have no sympathy for him. What if in the process they killed someone? Uh, the best justice was served being a gospel musician doesn't make you immune to law if you commit uh, such high profile crime nimeenda mimi nasema anaitwa Susan nasema his story was not adding up his body language as he told the story painted a picture of someone who was lying Dorcas uh, Duncan sorry Duncan anasema uh, when i watched uh, him i was sold uh, Okay I was sold by his uh, resilience and positivity towards the uh, his situation I dreamt that night uh, that he was not innocent my dreams don't lie all right wanasema ndoto zake ni za kweli kabisa all right mimi hapa nasema anaitwa Magi I will never throw a stone to someone's son uh, kwa sababu hakuna All right, we are meaning kana kikuyu. Mimi nasema what I know no one is uh, right. Huh? Hii ni jina gani? Precious. Precious. Uh, he deserves 
uh, second chance period wa chini kujifanya holy than thou alright uh, alright hizo ni baadhi ya comments ambazo watu wamezidi kuzitoa uh, kutana, kutokana na hiyo story ya Sami Boy anyway mtazamaji wa Swift Media wewe una kipi cha kuzungumza kutokana na, na the entire story ambayo uh, tumekuletea Tumbia hapo kwenye sehemu ya comments lakini subscribe ili kupata taarifa mpya kila wakati